Hey gang, Evan Sutton here. I'm the senior sound design instructor here at DubSpot in New York City and online. Today we're gonna talk about making some fat bass sounds with Massive. We're gonna create a nice sub kick, and this isn't something that Massive is the best thing at, but there's a simple way to do it with Massive, and we're gonna make some nice classic sounds and be able to play them in a whole new way. So make sure you brought your life preserver, and let's get moving. So to start out with, I have this little beat and I've taken the kick drum out of it because we're gonna actually replace it with Massive. This is something that's really common in uh, certain types of Southern hip hop, what people are calling trap now. There's a very specific type of Southern hip hop that is trap. It's not quite as broad of a genre as a lot of people think it is. But we're gonna talk about a type of kick drum today that actually started with the 808 kick and it actually had so much tone to it, like you could really hear the note that it was playing. People have taken that and adapted it into an instrument that you can play harmonically and actually play bass lines with. And that's a style that you're hearing more and more. So I'm gonna start out with an instance of Massive here and let's take a listen to this little melody that I have going. Uh, this melody is somewhere in between hip hop and grime or something like that, let's take a listen. <laughs> Here's just the drums right here. And what I'm thinking is that we'll get in here like this. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Something like that. Boom, boom, boom. You know, just keep it moving, keep it busy. It's gonna be a nice thing. Uh, this is gonna have a lot of energy. So I'm just gonna start out in Massive by grabbing one of the, the sine wavetables here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the wavetable position all the way to the left, so it's 100% sine wave. Now this is how uh, the classic 808 kick drum is made. So we're gonna start out with the sine wave, and I'm gonna find a note that's appropriate for my nice low sub bass. So that's not quite low enough. Maybe we try one more octave down. Ooh, that's nice. What I'm really looking for is the pitch that's gonna be the destination of my kick drum here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna get my metronome going and I'm actually just gonna gonna solo the drums here. I have a little sub mix going and I'll go ahead and I'm just gonna play a little kick drum pattern in here. And that's how we're gonna get this started because I, I wanna hear the music while I'm setting the drum because then my sound design is gonna be a lot more successful, the piece is gonna make sense and it's gonna feel more musical. So if you can't hear that, then just uh, you're gonna need to put on some headphones or something like that. This is a super low sub bass. I'm gonna go ahead and quantize this. And I'll go ahead, let's bring it up an octave just so that everyone can hear it a little bit easier. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's just start out. I'm going to bring it back down an octave. By the way, in Logic, that keystroke is Option Shift Down and Up. That'll move everything an octave, and I actually believe it's the same in Ableton Live. That's one of the ones that's easy to remember because it's the same. So I'm going to start out just by getting together my amplitude envelope. So I'm going to go to envelope four. It's uh, automatically routed to modulate the amplitude. I'll pull in the attack. So this is a non-sustaining sound. Well, a drum is generally non-sustaining, but we can make this so it has a little bit of sustain just in case we want to hold the note out a little longer. But I'm going to pull the, the, the sustain level way down. And we don't want that little punch at the end. So I'm just lengthening the release slightly. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty good so far, but what we now really need is more of a transient. We're just hearing the click from this really fast envelope on the sine wave. So what we need is a nice transient. And you may have seen me use this trick before on one of my other massive tutorials. I'm just gonna use a regular envelope to modulate the pitch of this uh, oscillator that we're getting this uh, deep sub bass from. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna make the attack really fast and we're gonna pull the sustain level down to zero so that once this envelope reaches zero at its sustain level, which it's gonna do really quickly, um, we're just hearing that sub bass note. So let me put this value up 
a couple of octaves. I like to use octaves because that means that the entirety of the sound is going to be in tune. So let's take a listen to it right now. And if we were to take this whole thing up an octave or two, we'd have a nice sort of tom sound. Or if you want to get a little, if you want to get a little ring my bell, you know, I'm glad you're home and I think you really miss me. Yeah, that's what my microwave says to me. All right, anyways, enough with that. I'm going to pull this thing back. And we're back down at the sub bass level, and a lot of you are going, oh, man, but it's not, like, bassy enough, man. Well, I've got the prescription, all right? So hold your horses, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull the decay in a little bit, and we're just going to listen to it tighten up so that we just end up with a nice punch on the sound. And the emphasis is still on the low bass, but we have a good solid transient that's going to really make it sound like a drum. That's good. Here it is without. Kind of falls flat, right? Now let's. I like that. I'm going to turn up the release. There we go. That's pretty nice. Just just driving it a little bit more, turning up that filter volume. We're not using any any real filtering here right now. So that's pretty nice. I've got a good punch going in there. And uh, from here, there's a, there, there are a few like fine-tuning sorts of things that we can do. The first is I'm going to go to the voicing tab, and I'm going to change this to monophonic. If it's not in monophonic, what, what you can end up with, and I'll play it in a higher octave so we can hear it better, what you can end up with is notes that are overlapping, and that's especially bad with a super sub bass. The sounds are going to collide a little bit. You're going to have some phasing issues, and it's just going to make the bass not feel very clean. So we can get overlapping sounds. Let me turn up the release here so we can really hear it. So we don't want that kind of shaking to happen. So no matter how long you turn up your release, if you put it on monophonic, it's going to cut off the old sound before it puts on the new one. Which means that you can do some really fast little edits here without worrying about the, the tails of those punches sort of overlapping. Now, another thing that we can do is we can go over to this envelope that we're using to push the pitch up momentarily. It's very, very quick. And we can use it for something else uh, to add a little bit more punch to the sound. We could always add some more harmonics to the sound. In fact, this is where I start with a lot of drum synthesis. I'll usually get an 808 kick drum sounding fairly believable. And then I'll go ahead and I'll uh, add some things to it. And you can go as wacky as you want, just as long as your ear sort of is remembering that it's a drum. So let's let's see what it sounds like if we listen to a square wave as a kick drum. So we can make this thing sound kind of distorted, a little bit blown out. This is almost like if we put it through some sort of distortion. And I can take this envelope, the same one that's modulating pitch, and just make it so that it goes up and adds a few more harmonics and moves toward a square wave, just for a second, so, that, so we just hear a little bit stronger of a transient. See, that might be a little too much. Uh, but I'm a sucker for that clean sine wave. We could also do it with a sine triangle. Ooh, in fact, I love the way that sounds. That sounds great. You can always feel free to add effects. Let's hear how this sounds with the rest of the drum kit. So obviously a little bit of mixing is in order. Let's bring this up a little bit. And let's see how it goes with the rest of our synthesizers. So 
there we go. That's how you make a quick 808 sub kick using Massive that you can play harmonically. And as you can hear, there are a lot of possibilities for this. Like I said, once you get it in the room sounding like a drum, feeling like a drum, there's a lot that you can do to get creative and to make a nice, unique sound. And then also, you can go ahead and you can double this up and use another punchy kick drum to kind of go on top of it. That's also really common. You can check out one of our awesome sidechain compression tutorials. I have a nice one on ghost sidechain compression that you can find on the DubSpot YouTube page. But uh, this is a technique that is that's great. It's a basic one, and it's one that goes a really long way. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm Evan Sutton. You can catch me at astrolith.net, hear some of my releases, and see some of my other tutorials, which are all up on the DubSpot YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you around the internet. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.